Hey, what's up, guys? Dead Puma here, bringing you back a uh, another little tips and tricks video. Uh, the gameplay I'm using here is from a game. It's a free-to-play browser game. It's very easy to run. Doesn't take very. Uh, it's not very CPU or GPU intensive. It's not very PC intensive at all. Anybody can run it. You can run it with a toaster plugged in your wall if you wanted to, as long as you got an HDMI or DisplayPort cable. But yeah, so I'm using this game to show that. Um, this is what I use when I want to warm up. This is what I use as like my aim trainer. Just because it's mostly kids playing. It's a very easy game. I feel like the hit markers are huge. It's easy to snipe. Um, so yeah, this is what I use when I want to warm up for playing an actual game that I care about my performance. Like CSGO or Rainbow Six Siege. And I would recommend everybody have something they do to work on their aim. Now there's a lot of great aim trainers that you can get, uh, free ones or paid ones on Steam. What I would recommend doing is going to CSGO and finding a map like this one right here. And I will link this below in the description. So on this map, what you do is you just click on the little things that pop up. And what that does is it basically trains your muscle memory with the DPI setting that you're using, with the, you know, the screen you're using, all that stuff. So you know exactly how much you need to move your hand to click on an enemy regardless of their position. Uh, it's a great tool. It does improve your aim a lot. If you just get on for like 5-10 minutes every day as warm up, it will be a great aid to getting better aim and getting more kills in FPS games. Something else I'd recommend doing is just going into the bot setting or whatever game you're playing, whether it be Call of Duty, CSGO, whatever it is. And just playing around with easy bots, then going to normal bots, then going to hard bots, and just tracking your aim. If you want to work on headshots in CSGO, only go for headshots. Use the Deagle, use an AK, whatever, and just go for headshots. Um, anything like that would be a great way to build up your aim. Now, I would always recommend an aim trainer map because they're specifically designed to improve your aim through muscle memory. Um, and what you want to make sure you don't do is never change your sensitivity in game find one that you like and get used to it and just keep it on that so what i would do is i would go up to a wall i would shoot a bullet into the wall in csgo where you can see it and just practice going from the edge of the wall back to your bullet hole and if you're going way too far past that bullet hole twitch aiming then you need to lower your sensitivity. Now, if you're not bringing it close enough to that bullet hole you placed on there, you need to raise your sensitivity. And that's a, that's a very old CSGO tip and trick. And there's a website like the one I'm going to link below in the description where you can type in your uh, sensitivity for one game, and it's going to tell you what your sensitivity should be in every game. And um, that's very useful, too, because it helps, again, with that muscle memory thing. Your brain gets used to how fast the mouse is moving on your screen. So it's a really nice idea to carry over your sensitivity in one game to every game you play. Now, given that, like, some people prefer to use higher sensitivities for Twitch shooters and lower sensitivities for the competitive shooters, and that's really all personal preference. Um, however, I would not recommend that. Uh, I would just find a good median sensitivity that works for any game you're playing. I always play with a low sensitivity. I use 400 DPI, and in CSGO, I think my seven my sensitivity is like a 1 maybe, could be, below, be lower. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, there's a lot of advantages to having better aim than your opponent, obviously. Most games like CSGO, like Rainbow Six, like Black, uh, Black Ops, any Call of Duty, um, they're going to be very low time to kill games. Uh, very low health typically, very high damage happened by guns. Um, most guns are a 3 to a 4 shot kill in the assault rifle range, or like a 1 shot kill with most of the snipers. So it, it's a huge advantage to landing more shots on your opponent. If your opponent lands one more shot, gets his aim down on you by one second, with a gun that's firing, you know, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800, 800 rounds per minute, it's a huge difference. Because as I said, a lot of these guns are 3 to 4 shots to kill. So if he gets way more shots on you in a way quicker amount of time you're obviously going to die first and it makes such a huge difference who gets the first shot off and who keeps their shot on now you should always practice your tracking game too there's another aim trainer i'm going to link again in the description where the bots move around and i want you to try and get headshots on those bots only headshots because think about it if you can hit a head consistently you can definitely hit the rest of the enemy's body consistently so once you improve your headshot accuracy then you'll be fine. There's no reason to aim for the body or center mass because that's not really training your aim. That's like easy mode training your aim. I would simply aim for heads. Use a deagle, use an AK, use an op if you want a quick scope, whatever you gun you're most comfortable with and just aim for heads. 
And uh, yeah, that sums it up for this tips and trick video on improving your aim. And uh, if you want to play this game, it's called Crunker.io. It is a browser game. It's a pretty fun one at that. Um, one of the better browser games I've played. There's not much for customization, but it's definitely not pay to win. And uh, every now and then you'll hop in a game with some really good people. And it's pretty impressive seeing how, you know, a game that looks kind of like Roblox has such great gameplay elements. And um, as I said, this is the game I use to improve my aim. I just hop in a game of Crunker. Uh, all the rounds are like three, four minutes. So I'll play, you know, two or three games. And then I'll hop in a CSGO, Rainbow Six Siege, sometimes Call of Duty or Battlefield or whatever. And I'll feel a lot more comfortable with my aim. I'll feel a lot more warmed up. And I'll find that I'm hitting my shots more consistently. So to sum it up, play a warm-up game. Work on your aim through the aim trainers. I'm going to link below in the description. And make sure you're getting the shot off first. And make sure you're tracking your shots properly that's it for this video i'll see you guys in next time's tips and tricks